Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Men of War Soul Squad 2. In our campaign beginning series? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, we've done three other missions so far. Done the Germans, then the Americans, and then the British. So this time, we're going to do the first mission for the Soviets versus the Germans, obviously. Because the only other people they fought were the Japanese. Although that would have been pretty cool to have them fight each other. Like in a campaign, like for some of the missions. Well, I don't know. Maybe they do fight each other in one of the uh, campaign missions. I don't know. I haven't completed the Soviet campaign. I've done most of the Germans and then some of the Americans. American missions. So, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. And we can talk some more then. Major, thank goodness you've arrived. The Germans are charging our position. We must hold it at all costs. It's a really shitty Russian accent, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'm on place that way. Okay, so we're playing as the Soviets, and we're obviously in the snow. As you would expect playing as the Soviets, you would generally expect to be in the snow. These guys can get an angle. Okay, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but whatever. He fixed himself. He checked himself before he wrecked himself. Okay. So this ought to be quite interesting, seeing as how we're fighting the Germans as the Soviets. And I would expect the Soviet units to be cheaper. Oh well, that <laughs> the motorcycle the sidecar just got immediately wrecked before it even got out of spawn. Wow. So. I like that machine gun. That is doing some work. That is really doing some work. Well, looks like pretty much all of our troops have rifles. Which is expected for the Russians, honestly. Um, or really any for- or really for anyone, honestly. Truck. I don't know why the doors are open. <laughs> or why it's continuing to. Well, now it's not driving anymore. <laughs> okay, well. This is going pretty well, but. I mean, that's kind of to be expected. So, in a defensive mission like this, there's a few things that I can do. One, do what I'm currently doing, which is just dig in at my positions just in front of the cap point. Or, I could leave some of my units here, and then drag some of them further up in, in uh, good positions of cover. Like, for example, here. So that way they can shoot the enemy more accurately as soon as they come up. I don't have anyone. Is he a sniper? Oh, he's. Can't read it. Get rid of the stupid tooltip. Oh, yes, get in the. Nope, never mind, don't get the tank. It exploded. Wait, what? Why did it skip it? I was just scrolling and then for some reason that skipped it. Whatever. I have an armoring car. Just like in all the other first missions, but anyway. You know, I don't know, like, in the comments, go ahead and put put down what is your favorite armored car of World War II. Or 
Yeah, just just go ahead and. Yeah, go ahead and put your favorite car from World War II from any faction. And if you want to, go ahead and put Y. That would be interesting to know. sent by the HQ, and even the ability to request your own reinforcements for capturing each of the three enemy Man, I wish I could go take that. They tank it. I... Okay. On the one hand, I can understand why it would be classified as a tank it, and not an actual tank. Because it's so lightly armored and all. And because it's only got MGs. But on the other hand, its armor is better than you would expect for a tank hit. But, eh, I don't know. There's there's more than two, there's two sides of every coin. Mm, anti tank gun, anywhere. Take out that MG and tell the squad on the left to go rush. Okay, well that works. And this squad just in front of our car. Push up to the house. This squad. Then push up there. Our car can go ahead and. There's two motorcycles there. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and hop inside the house and use it as cover. There we go, he's dead. Okay, now they're in cover and they can try and take out anyone that's getting too close for comfort. Not what I wanted. We'll try and hit the house. Okay, that didn't do what I wanted. Well, he's dead. So now these guys can push up. And also these guys can push up. Okay, so they're holding... So they got troops back there, that's a well defended position. So, that said, we'll push some troops up there on the far left. While these guys... Go get in the trenches there. I can occupy their positions. Oh yeah, they did not have a good day right there. Okay, now they're all up there, including the guy with the DP-28. Where's my armored car? Okay. It can go ahead and push up to there. Actually, just push up to there. I'll give it a little bit more cover. Oh, so, okay, so I get all the same achievements. It's just got a different flag. T-34, is that a 57? Or no, it wouldn't be 57, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, Hmm. What would that be? Oh, T-3485. Okay, that was my second guess. Oh. Great. Well, actually a T-60 would be. Or is that a T-70? That's a T-70. 
Yeah, it's T70. Thought it was first. I thought it was a T60 because of the hole and the turret and everything. And then I realized it was a T70 when I looked at the gun because the T60 has a full auto um, 20 mil. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and combine these two squads. This squad. Okay. And then the T70. Push up a bit. It's got better armor than the than the BAT. No, BA11. Not sure where I want to put these guys, actually. be nice if I could tell them to ride on the sides, but whatever. I'll just combine them with this middle squad. Oh man, I'm getting hiccups. <laughs> I ate dinner in between this and the last one. So, or, well it'd be my lunch. Whatever. Ooh, they sniped the crap out of that dude. Nope, 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 nope. Don't fire again. Okay, there we go. Pan or Flak Panzer 1s are devastating to infantry. This is a guy, they have decent armor. Their gun shield is pretty good. At least against small arms. I'm gonna push the T70 up this way. They can continue defending on the left. Normally, I push up on the left. So this time, I'm not really going to do that. I'm going to push up on the right, more so. Oh, well, didn't really want to destroy that, but whatever. It works, I suppose. The squad can go ahead and... Push up there. Armored car. get in this sort of a defensive position. Meanwhile, this squad... Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just demolished the entire house. Including the guy inside. <laughs> Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Okay. I'm just going to try and push up on the right with infantry. I'm not going to push up with anything too spectacular. Unless I need to bring up my armored support, then I will. And all these DP8s are just <laughs> demolishing them. I'm just going to push all across the board. Okay. going over there, but whatever. T-70, go ahead and push up here. Armored car. Yeah, just go ahead and push over there. Come 
probably got an anti-tank gun somewhere up here, so I don't want to push up my tank. Oh, they have a tiger that's destroyed. Good thing it's already destroyed, because I would be demolished if I tried to go and attack that. Understandably, but I would still be demolished. He's gonna go hide behind here. An armored car. Wait, what? Heal a fallen comrade. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I wish you would let me get some tank crewmen. That would be very nice. Oh, there's my armored car. Maybe they can go ahead and push into the trenches too. Okay, I'm capping the point. Good, good. That's what I like to see. I do not really want my armored car to be <laughs> flat to, or perpendicular to the enemy because. Oh, nice, finally. Get some units. Okay, support units. I can get this three. Uh, hmm. You know what? Why not? I'll get this three. Where will I set it up? Yeah, I'll set it up here. That sounds good. Take out my armored car there. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, these guys can not really go over here. Interesting. Um, an enemy tank defending positions ahead. We must eliminate They can't really move up without being entirely in the open. Oh, I hear the enemy tank. Good thing I pulled up an anti-tank gun, but it'll take a little while to get over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a sniper now, rather than later. There's a rock there. Move up my T70 there. Oh no, a stuck. Damn. Um. Well, it is weak to infantry. Although it does have that machine gun thing. I did. I'm just gonna do the Russian thing and charge it. Wait, why? Why did they set themselves on fire? Okay then. Um, that works. That works, I suppose. Um, sure. How much crew? Oh, five, oh crew of four. The max of eight. Okay. These guys. The assault squad leader. You know, actually, I'm just going to get a t another T70. And then I'll transfer the crew out of the T70 into. How many crew does this? Oh, it's only got two. Dang. Um. Oh well, yeah, I'll add another two guys onto it then. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. So the T seventy crew, along with along with the um, these two guys, 
Those two guys are going to go ahead and hop in it though. Oh yay, my anti-tank gun's finally coming up. Took them, took them long enough. Why is the medic up just sitting there like that? Stop that. You're a stupid medic. Oh yeah, and then I need another two guys to replace the guys that were in the tank. Um... Oh, that's my sniper. That's right. I was like, wait a second. My sniper's gonna sit there. Okay. Threw that there to get rid of the of the tent, so that way I can see everyone better. There. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I can't see it. Why is that one not able to fire at it? Why is it fire an HE? Fire AP at the very least, come on. They're the worst anti tank crew ever. You guys. Throw a grenade over there to destroy that cover. That's good. What? Here's a PPSH. Why did I say that? Oh, AT rifle infantry. Okay. That guy will get inside there along with. Oh crap. Um, it's not good. So I wanna. There's a thing you can do by using snipers and officers is where if you look over where the enemy is or where the enemy would be or where you think the enemy might be, that even though the AI can't see it, you can use the. Um, you can use snipers and officers with like the officers have binoculars, so they can so they can zoom in and whatnot. And the snipers just have the sniper scope. So wherever you're looking, you have a small little area that you can see in, and that allows you to. Um, oh, nice! Those guys can push up there now. Be in a better position. And that guy. I'm gonna push the anti tank rifleman, or anti tank crew up there. Okay, so now I have two. I have two T 70s. They can both push up there, and I'm also going to combine those squads. I'm going to use Here's my sniper. Over. He disappeared right as soon as I was going to go. Uh, Shoot him. Trying to find a good position. Excellent job. Oh, I got mechanic. Yeah, I'm just going to have all three of my tanks over this way. Wait, what? Why is the medic? 
Why, why is the medic all alone in that squad? That's that is stupid. First thing. And then T thirty four can push up behind them. Pushing up and they can do as they please. Try not to lose all these guys at the very least. It's not that it'll really make too much of a difference. Okay, so I have this anti tank rifle. Or, er, not rifle, but. Did I really kill some of my own guys? Okay, I thought I did for a minute, I'm like... Ouch. That was not good. Okay, that one's down. Oh, this one's not. Well, that one's down. I didn't lose any tanks to it. I'm gonna run these guys over. These, these, these guys are getting on my nerves. You know. Wow, my T-70 blocked the shot from my T-34. Tell them to just go ahead and rush. They got some tigers over there. Actually, I probably shouldn't go destroying all this, but whatever. I'm the Russians, I do what I want. <laughs> Ooh, we took an A or an HE shell to the balls. That is not fun to say the least. Oh really it's tracked again. There's my sniper. Tell him to go up here. I can try and snipe that machine gunner. Nope, oh, saving. I don't know. I don't know why it took a little bit longer than it should have to save. But whatever. Major, set up defenses around our new field HQ. Reports indicate that enemy forces will try to retake this position shortly. Okay then. Oh no shit, they're gonna be attacking from the north. <laughs> Why is the turret turned backwards? Whatever. So, I'm gonna have... I'll first repair it. Oh, can can this? Oh, come on! Why can't it build the defenses around it? That sucks, man. Hold position. So, what I'm gonna do? Tell that T70 to hold there. That T70 to hold there. Well, actually, no. We'll put an anti-tank gun over there. So the T-34 is going to be sitting over on the left flank, the one T-70 is going to be there, 
Yes. You know what? And I'll have the other one sitting there. So the two T-70s are going to be guarding that side. Woohoo, I'm going to T-34-76. Which is still good. Not quite as good as the T-34-85, T but whatever. Even so, it's still really good. I don't need any more tanks. I'm going to get... This dish. Along with some infantry. What well, actually no, I'm not gonna push up T thirty four. I'm gonna set up another dish right here. I feel the need to set up another anti tank. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'll set one up right here. Reinforcements have arrived. You no, know, I forgot to check. Okay, so the prices for the infantry is still the same, which kind of sucks, but whatever. <sighs> I guess it's understandable, sort of. For balance. We have received reports from forward observers claiming there's a major enemy movement ahead. It seems like the assault is starting. Prepare yourself to defend our new field HQ. Come on. Stop saving and just go. Just go. Okay, there we go. So this squad will go... Uh, not really anywhere they can defend there, but... Oh, they only have one that they can use? That sucks. Whatever. Well, they'll use the one that they have then. Wait, what? I told him to go over here, not over there, you idiot. Wait, what? That's the dish. Wait, it's two discs. I didn't tell him to go over there. What the hell? Okay, go over there. This disc can go over there by the wall. Okay, we need to take gun there, so that's good. They're pretty good. Wait, why did he put it? <sighs> Whatever. I'm not even gonna bother. What do these guys have? So they have three. So yeah, I'll go ahead and set them up over here, I suppose. They fall back just a little bit. Okay, 
Now they'll have some more cover if I do this. That AI was smart trying to use the truck as cover, not that it really helped too much since. We're seeing as how it is just a truck after all. Can't even shoot. destroy that tower when I leave it there so I can use it as cover. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a supply truck right there so they don't have to leave their position in order to... They're not really attacking over this way, so... Truck, four. Oh, what? They destroyed that cover. Well, then, that's no fun. I just want to finish building that, so go ahead. Okay, my last video is done. One with the Commonwealth. Oh, come on, let me move. There. And those just got demolished. Okay, I'm gonna push the T-34 up, so... Man, I wish I could entrench it, though. That would be so good. Ooh, it took two shots at once. Dang, that sucked. For it. Wait, what'd I hit? Oh crap, I hit my own guys. Well, not the Russians, whatever. Oh, I hit my anti-tank gun. I was wondering what I hit. You want? I'm gonna pull up another dish. Set it right here. So these guys. Oh, they don't have any more. That's right. I forgot. Oh, the truck was hit. Fine, just join the squad, I guess. Guys are doing pretty dang good. I'm trying to set them up where each of them can get behind it, but it doesn't look like this is going to happen. Whatever. That's good enough. Oh, these guys need to retreat.
Well then, this is uh... Like, okay, what do I keep it? Okay, now it's dead. Okay, healing. Oh, a tank over here, or something. I get dead. <laughs> Take out the stub. Take out the stub. They're trying to. It's okay. They're. Stug are dating if they them to a position where. Because it originated as an assault gun. It wants to see my tank on. Once they started to see more tank on tank rolls, then they upgraded the original short 75 with the LART with the long 75 in order to allow it to take out tank. easier because it performed better than a lot of the Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s as far as reliability in the Russian winter. Granted, I mean it wasn't impervious but it performed better as far as that and, and because of the style of the tank it was the casemate style of the tank it was far easier to produce because you didn't have to build a turret, which meant you didn't have all the complicated turret ring parts and all that other stuff. But then later they made like the Panzer. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a tip, whenever you're... Oh nice, I only lost one vehicle in 23 men. But a tip for whenever you're... Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so many T-34s. They're all carrying infantry. Anyway. So I enjoyed that mission. Well, I've enjoyed most of these missions, but... Man, I'm... <laughs> I don't know why I'm yawning. But anyway. Only one more mission to go, and then I can go play something else. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's... This was the Soviet mission one? Or the first Soviet mission? And I hope you guys enjoyed it. You get to see all the T-34s just overrunning the enemy. Just... Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. If you enjoy my content in general, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day, and the Emperor protects.